a new operation, Operation Collection Skins, but in Stat Trek. There is a 7 day trade ban for CSGO items and yet, some of them are already listed on third party sites. And a Glock Emerald, but everyone is trading up to it. If you've been avoiding all Operation Riptide news just to hear about it first in this week's Market Watch, man, you're in for a treat. Was geht it's Held and welcome to this week's Market Watch. Boy, oh boy, where to begin? Well, luckily I have made not one, not two, but 11 videos since the operation came out, covering a whole bunch of topics, in case you feel like there's more room for Feltz's voice in your head after this video. And there are a lot more videos to come. But for this week's Market Watch, I thought we'd focus on some of the more unusual things coming out of the operation. We leave the big details from my main operation investment guide. By the way, that guide is going to come out on Thursday and there is a simple reason for that. The operation items are all going to be tradable for the first time in about 28 hours after this video comes out and as far as the case is concerned, not just tradable but also marketable. So I'd like to see where prices settle due to this on both buff and steam before dropping the video. Though I actually lied there. Some skins have been tradable already as mentioned in the intro, so let me explain what happened there. Basically the operation collections are not supposed to come in stat track. That's a feature reserved for skins that come from cases. So when people started unboxing stat track variants of the collection skins, something was wrong. Wrong, but salvageable. All Valve had to do was remove the stat track from the skins. And so they did. And yet, there still was something wrong. While the kill counter wasn't a thing no more, Valve did make these skins tradable in the process. Don't know if that was something they could have avoided or not, all I know is, they didn't make them untradable again after. Which is why now, you can see some of these skins listed on buff or other third party sites already. For example, we have already recorded our first sale of this Mag 7 Navy Sheen, a consumer grade skin from the 2021 Mirage collection, which sold for about 2 euros. It's going rate right on the steam market, 8 cents. Congrats man, you've overpaid 2 euros for the privilege of owning a skin via trade that everyone else could have just bought on the steam market. And that perfectly encapsulates the wildness of this past week. It was bucks galore, with stickers having different sizes on skins, with an agent having his wrong name changed a day into the operation, with the new knife textures bugged and... Oh, an easy to acquire skin being made even easier to acquire. First, yes, the new knives. Just to be thorough, let me quickly show you the new knives, which are the Spectrum knives in Gamma finishes. Which means new butterfly knives in Emerald and Lore finishes for example. Pretty surprising decision, but definitely a welcome one. Back to that easy to acquire skin though. The Glock 18 Gamma Doppler, yes, Gamma Doppler, can be easily purchased for 100 stars or for 38 euros. We didn't have this kind of a system before. Based on Gamma Doppler odds, you have an 8 to 10% chance to get an Emerald, so actually not one that is all that low. You will be paying somewhere between 300 to 400 euros on average to get one. But that's not all. If you were to trade up for the Glock, you have an increased chance at the Emerald because of a bug within the trade up system. This video explains it pretty well, I'll have it in the description, but basically, instead of seeing the Glock Gamma Doppler as one outcome, the system sees all four phases, so phase 1, 2, 3 and 4, and the Emerald pattern as five different outcomes. You can see it laid out perfectly right here via the trade-up calculator by CSGO Float. This means you get an 83% chance at the Glock, which is one of the two coverts from the 2021 train collection, and only a 17% chance at the M4A4. If you were to do the trade-up like this for example, you'd pay less than when using stars, get a 62.5% chance at a factory new Glock, and a 12.5% chance at an Emerald, which should be about 30% higher than if you were to use 100 stars. At the end of the day, it's still a gamble, but with an expected value of about $50 on average, if the $200 price tag for the factory new Emerald is still accurate, it's not a bad trade-up at all. If you have a lot of money to burn, it's not a bad choice I guess, as long as this bug is not fixed, and the Emerald price hasn't dropped some. If a lot of people do these though, that shouldn't take too long. That's pretty much gonna cover the wacky part of this operation. Now let's look at the effects on the market. If you remember the prices on these from a week ago, you'll know it's looking kinda bad. The Gamma case from 35 to 26 cents, the Snakebite case from 42 to 17 cents, Breakout from 2 euro 20 to 1 euro 68. If you're a believer in the longevity of the CSGO market, right now looks like a pretty good time to buy. Two things I want to add to that though. First, the Major is coming up in less than a month, with Major stickers about 2 to 3 weeks away. Especially once the 75% discount hits, it's likely we will see prices drop again, and I wouldn't expect any stonks until those items are discontinued too. So if you invest now, don't do it for short, short term profit, but also, I wouldn't say wait for the Major and that it will offer you with an even better opportunity. Right now is a good time to buy, we know that. We don't know how much of a crash the Major will cause. My suggestion, get some items now and some more during the major, so spread it out. 
Another thought that isn't mine but has been shared with me a couple times, why buy this crash on Steam and not on Buff? If you don't know, Buff prices have mostly not dropped as much as on Steam. Some items are even pretty much on the same level. The reason being that people quick sell on Steam to get the Operation Pass and the Stars. They won't quick sell stuff on buff because what's the point? Of course with items like the Battle Scarred Hollow, if prices get too close to each other and a lot of people want to sell, they will use the better option and buff if they don't want to use that balance for the operation. But will we see a crash on buff similarly to what's going on on Steam once the items are tradable? We don't know. Surely some people will sell stuff to get the new items once they're available but unlike Steam users, they won't be surprised once the items are tradable, they know that they will be available on Wednesday. Feel free to share your thoughts on this though in the comments below. As far as other items go, two of the RMR capsules fell all the way back to 20 cents, which was the discounted price during the RMR sale. The broken fan case bottomed out at just 25 cents, the bells got hollow at 2 euro 50 and well, it didn't end up much prettier for the rest of the market. Except for trade up skins from actively dropping collections. These are doing well, so if you got them early, congrats, you're among the few whose portfolio went up in value while everyone else's went down. And with that, we have come to the end of this week's market watch. I will be back with a best case scenario probably tomorrow to switch it up, then a special edition of the sticker watch just on Operation Riptide stickers before releasing the Operation Investment Guide Part 1 on Thursday. If you enjoyed today's video, a like is always much appreciated. Thank you all for watching as always, have a good one.